Three cups of tea, the first cup you're a stranger, second cup a friend, and third cup you become family. But the process takes several years and it's about relationships. That's what an old village chief in Pakistan taught me once. Um, when I was having problems getting the first school built, he said, if you want to work here, it takes three cups of tea. In the heart of the Karakoram Mountains in northern Pakistan, the Baltistan region is famous for its countless high-altitude peaks, including K2, the second highest mountain in the world. In 1993, an American climber by the name of Greg Mortensen made an unsuccessful attempt on K2. On his way back from the mountains, he supposedly lost his way and wandered into a village called Corfe. Impressed by the hospitality and the poverty of the Baltis and their eagerness for female education, Greg went back to America and collected funds through a campaign called Pennies for Peace. He started building schools for girls in the Baltistan region. His slogan? Peace through one school at a time. Since 1996, Greg's NGO, called the Central Asia Institute, has built 61 schools in the Baltistan region, and all of them are operational to this day. I'd like to give you my comments uh, about Dr. Greg as an ordinary, uh, common uh, person. I've been a great admirer of Greg. Uh, by uh, the time I have read his book, The F uh, Three Cups of Tea, actually, I like him as a person. I think whatever he has done for the people of our area, nobody has done ever before. Whatever his achievements are, being an ordinary person and how he has, I mean, uh, worked so hard for, the, for our people, he has shown so much concern as a humanitarian. And it was his human humanitarian approach that appealed me a lot. In 2006, Greg Mortensen co-authored a book and related his experiences and achievements while building girls' schools in a conservative Baltistan region. This book, called Three Cups of Tea, instantly became an international bestseller and inspired millions of people across the globe. Donations started flowing generously into the coffers of the Central Asia Institute Greg became an international hero and was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. But then the three cups of tea were drained, got tainted and stained, and went into the sink. My pants were ripped in half, and I hadn't taken a bath in 84 days. And I stumbled into a little village called Corfe, where I was befriended by the people. And they gave me everything they had, um, their yak, butter, their tea. They um, put warm blankets over me, and for, they helped nurse me back to health. Mortensen tells how he discovered 84 children in the back of the village, writing their school lessons with sticks in the dust. When a young girl named Chocho came up to me and said, could you help us build a school? I made a rash promise that day, and he said, I promise I'll help you build a school. And little did I know that, that would change my life forever. It's a powerful and a heartwarming tale that has motivated millions of people to buy his books and to contribute nearly $60 million to his charity. It's a beautiful story and it's a lie. Last fall, we began investigating complaints from former donors, board members, staffers, and charity watchdogs about Mortensen and the way he is running his nonprofit organization. And we found there are serious questions about how millions of dollars have been spent, whether Mortensen is personally benefiting, and whether some of the most dramatic and inspiring stories in his books are even true. An investigation by the US-based CBS network alleges the book is full of inaccuracies. There are issues raised uh, um, about the accuracy of certain things. I mean, for example, there is a claim that he was kidnapped by the Taliban in Waziristan in 1996. Um, there were no Taliban in Waziristan in 1996. 
There's a photo in Greg Mortensen's book, Three Cups of Tea, that allegedly show the author with a group of Taliban who kidnapped and held him for eight days in the mid-1990s. Mansour Masood, who works for an Islamabad-based think tank, was also in Mortensen's photo. He pulls no punches when asked about the author's claims. He is lying. He was not kidnapped. He was our guest. And in 1996, there were no Taliban in uh, Waziristan or in whole of Fatah. Many Mortensen supporters are withholding judgment. Well, we hope it's not true. It's early yet. The story accusing Greg Mortensen of lying in his book and misappropriating funds made world headlines. At the same time, far away in the Baltistan region, the newspapers in Skardu also caught on to the scandal. The headline in this local newspaper, called K2, reads, Greg Mortensen exploits the people of Baltistan and makes millions. His local crony makes millions too. This is a photograph of Greg with his alleged local crony, Ghulam Mohammed Parvi. Mr. Parvi, one of the good guys in Three Cups of Tea, was Greg's right-hand man. He helped him build the first school in Corfe. He was also the driving force behind the Central Asia Institute until 2010 when he parted ways with Greg, registered his own NGO called Central Asia Institute Baltistan. He has since taken over many schools and buildings built by Greg Mortensen. Mr. Gulam Parvi is now Greg Mortensen's worst critic in Baltistan. This was Gulam Parvi, an accountant Changhezi had turned to for help unscrambling his books. Parvi had obtained a business degree from one of Pakistan's finest graduate schools, the University of Karachi. His academic accomplishments was rare for a Balti, and he was known and respected throughout Skardu as a devout Shia scholar. Probably, I think it was uh, 1994 when I first met with Greg Mortensen in the office of Mr. Muhammad Ali Chengezi, who is a, a well-known tour operator. So Greg was wandering to establish a school building and some projects in Baltistan, and he was not uh, successful for the last two years to do so. So uh, I am not aware about the first portion of his story of the three cups of tea because uh, whatever he said before Corfe, it was just between uh, Changhezi and Greg Mortensen. I met him in 1994 and then uh, he wished to uh, construct a school building at uh, a village in Braldo uh, where a physicist and a science, uh, scientist, uh, Mr. Jain Harani, donated him uh, to construct a school building. One side of a green wooden doorway stood a foreigner with the money to make Corfe's school a reality. On the other stood the man most qualified in all of northern Pakistan to assist him, a man who shared his goals. When he uh, wrote the book, we came to know that in the book he has written many unwanted stories. Most of them are altogether false. And some of them are, you see, according to, uh, against the law of Pakistan, against the ethics, against international norms. So I request him to exclude all those things from the book. But Greg thought perhaps that with these innocent people and very simple people who does not know English, and it was true that we could not understand him and we could not understand his uh, attitude in the book. So he refused to, he did not refuse. He said, okay, I am willing to, uh, to exclude all these things, but my co-author and publisher with whom I have an agreement, I cannot exclude these without their permission and where their, their agreement. So I have to request them if they do not allow me, I will go in the court of law and inshallah I will remove all these things from the book. So, as a partner of social work and uh, as a friend, I believed, I said, okay, next time he will do that. But in this way, up till 2007, he did not remove those things. I could see the greatness of Greg's heart right away, Parvi says. We both wanted the same things for Baltistan's children. How could I refuse such a man? People are, people are confused that uh, what is the actual uh, 
difference between Central Asia Institute USA and Central Asia Institute Baltistan. So, Central Asia Institute registered Baltistan is the proper and legally authorized NGO in Baltistan, not only in Baltistan, for all Pakistan this one registration is enough and the other registration certificate cannot be issued by the government legally uh, until and unless Central Asia Institute registered Baltistan exists. So, I do not know how the uh, how Greg Mortensen is managing to use the name of Central Asia Institute in Pakistan. He is not officially allowed. This primary school for boys and girls, built at the edge of Skardu in a village called Astana, was initially started in a couple of rooms by Greg Mortensen. It was built for the children of refugees of the Kargil War who were settled in this village. Today, it's a fully functional and operational school with a grand building educating hundreds of local children. This building and the school have been taken over and are being run by Mr. Gulam Parvi's Central Asia Institute, Baltistan. Changhezi, a trekking agent and tour operator who'd organized the attempt at K2, seemed like the person who could arrange to have the school supplies carried up the Braldu Valley. Uh, three cup of tea mein. And जो उसने लिखा है कि भई स्कूल का सामान मैंने स्टोर में रखा और उसको मैंने जब्त करने की कोशिश की हालांकि ये सारा झूठ है कोई उसका सामान गिलगित से कोई ट्रक ही नहीं आया है ये सिरे का सिरा झूठ है और ना पारवी इस वक्त हयात है गो के उस वो मेरे खिलाफ हो या मेरे हामी में हो गिरे के खिलाफ तो वो हो चुका है वो खुदा बेहतर जानता है क्यों हुआ लेकिन वो उसका लिखा हुआ है कि वो पुलिस लेकर आया था कि इस अभी उससे मैंने जब पूछा हां भाई तुम पुलिस लेकर आए थे तो कहने लगा कि तोबा मेरी क्या मजाल है कि मैं पुलिस लेकर आऊं एक दूसरी बात है कि वहां पर स्टोर ही नहीं है और ना मेरा स्टोर है ना मेरा एक पार्दो से कोई मेरा कोई रहائش का सिलसिला है ना कोई पार्दो में स्कूल बनाने का मेरा कुछ वो था ये सारे के सारा 120% बल्कि 100 100% झूठ है Flush with Hurini's money and on track, Mortison was glad of Changhezi's company once again. The price he paid in the rupees Changhezi skimmed off every transaction was more than compensated for by the man's vast network of contacts. He had once been a policeman and seemed to know everyone in town. And after Changhezi had written him an invoice for all the building materials he was storing for Mortison's school, there seemed no reason not to take advantage of Changhezi's skills. इस किताब की वजह से इस ग्रेग मार्टिनसन की वजह से जिसकी मैंने خدمت की इसकी वजह से मैं जनी तौर पर बड़ा अपसेट रहा और इतना अपसेट रहा कि आज कई साल हो गए मैं स्कर्दो तक नहीं जा सका इन द शिगार वैली अबाउट 30 किलोमीटर्स नॉर्थ ऑफ स्कर्दो लाइज द कंजर्वेटिव टाउन ऑफ जाफराबाद हियर द नंबर ऑफ फीमेल स्टूडेंट्स इज राइजिंग थैंक्स टू अ गर्ल्स कम्युनिटी स्कूल बिल्ट एंड रन बाय ग्रेग मार्टिनसन्स सेंट्रल एशिया इंस्टीट्यूट this school in Jafarabad is one of 16 schools spread all over Baltistan that are being managed and independently run by Greg Mortensen's institute. All the remaining 45 schools have been handed over to the government of Pakistan or have been occupied by Mr. Parvi's Central Asia Institute Baltistan. This middle school for girls has 161 pupils and due to high enrollment rates, new classrooms are being built on the upper story to accommodate new students at the end of this school year. I know Dr. Mar Mortensen since 2006. I have been working with him as teacher's trainer. Uh, as you know that Central Asia has hired uh, many teachers and they are hiring teachers uh, trainers too to train them. So first I worked with them and uh, then I knew Greg Mortensen by three cups of tea and uh, he came to the college in 2007 as an educationist. And uh, I told him that we are suffering from the um, we are suffering from the um, uh, teachers' availability, and he helped us graciously with four teachers, and mostly they are in maths, English, 
or science subjects. And since 2007, we are, have been sponsored by Greg Mortensen with the uh, salary of four teachers. Uh, as far as, as I know, uh, Central Asian Institute and Greg Mortensen, he's a genuine person. He's uh, working for a very noble cause. And we have supported him and he has supported us as well. And as I have told you that he has been uh, very helpful for us for last five, four or five years. And we have never uh, found anything controversial uh, meanwhile. Now this all controversy I think has been created by GM Parvi. And uh, all this is due to financial matters. I can't say more about that because I am not involved into financial matters. But as an educationist, I think that Greg is working for a very noble cause. This is our library. And Library Plus Reading Room, the girls are reading the books. And let me show you the donation from Central Asian Library. Greg has been sponsoring us. Uh, I have told you earlier that he is sponsoring us with teachers and also with the books. This is a cupboard where we are um, keeping the donations by Central Asian Institute. Most of the books are three cups of tea. You can have a look. And we have been donating this book to other institutions as well from our library. And this is the CD, the song sung by Amira, daughter of Greg Mortensen. Dr. Greg brought books from his country, says Haji Ali's granddaughter Jahan, then nine, who would one day graduate with Taira in the Korfez school's first class. As you know, Jahan is the first student of uh, Central Asian Institute from Korfe. She is uh, studying in our college in um, graduation. And after that, she will go on the scholarship. Uh, earlier, we have sent five girls on the scholarship from Central Asian Institute in FC University Lahore. They are studying there. And we hope that Jahan will go there too. मैं इतिहास तालिम जो है राठौर ग्रेक के सुकून में ही हासिल किया वहाँ पे वहाँ पे पहले उसने सुकून खोला था तो उस वक्त किसी ने भी नहीं भेजा था कि लड़कियों को तालिम लड़कियाँ तालिम हासिल हासिल करना हराम है तो फिर किसी ने भी नहीं भेजा था लेकिन मेरे बाबा ने मुझे सपोर्ट किया कि से आप सुकून चलें और ना मैं मेरे कोई बहन नहीं था बाई नहीं था इसलिए शायद मेरे कस्मती से मेरे बाबा ने भेजा होगा और उसने सुकून खोलने के लिए जगह तलाश किया तो फिर हमारे गांव वालों ने भी नहीं दिया किसी ने भी नहीं दिया फिर मेरे दादा ने कहा कि आपको मैं फ्री में जमीन दूंगी आप सुकून बना ले और जो है दूसरे बच्चे नहीं भेजेगा तो हमारे घर में बहुत सारे बच्चे हैं मैं उनको ही भेजूंगी और आपके साथ सपोर्ट करूंगी कहकर मुझे सुकून भेजा Jahan, who had come to Skardu planning to become a simple health worker and return to Korfe, was in the process of revising her goals upward. Before I met you, Dr. Gred, I had no idea what education was, Jahan said, refilling his teacup. But now I think it is like water. It is important for everything in life. अभी उसके बाद मैंने मैट्रिक के पास गर्ल हाई गर्ल हाई स्कूल में मैट्रिक पास किया उसके बाद फौरन मैंने यहाँ पे डिग्री कॉलेज में दाखला लिया डिग्री कॉलेज में दाखला लिया उसमें मैंने फर्स्ट अभी मैं ग्रेजुएशन कर रही हूँ आई कुन टेक माई आईज ऑफ द फॉरन लेडीज सेज जहान हु अलॉन्ग विद तायरा वुड वन डे बिकम द फर्स्ट एजुकेटेड वुमेन इन द लॉन्ग हिस्ट्री ऑफ ब्रालदू वैली दिस सीम सो डिग्निफाइड वन एवर आईड सीन पीपल फ्रॉम डाउन साइड बिफोर आई रन अवे अशेम्ड ऑफ माई डर्टी क्लोथ बट दैट डे आई हैड द फर्स्ट सेट ऑफ क्लीन न्यू क्लोथ आई एवर ओन जहान सेल्स एंड आई रिमेंबर थिंकिंग मे बी आई शुड फील सो अशेम्ड मे बी वन डे अल्लाह विलिंग आई कैन बिकम अ ग्रेट लेडी टू और डॉक्टर ग्रेक ने जितना डॉक्टर ग्रेक ने अभी स्कूल में जो इतना खिदमत किया है उसमें हम दो जो लड़कियां हैं मेरे एक कदन है वो भी सेंट्रल एशिया के थ्रू पे यहाँ पे भी पढ़ रही है उसको भी कर दिया हुआ है वो भी ग्रेजुएशन कर रही है और मैं भी ग्रेजुएशन कर रही हूँ और मेरे दो भाई हैं एक भाई है उसने 
एफएससी एस पास कर लिए है वो भी डॉक्टर ग्रे के स्कूल से ही पढ़ा है और एक कज़न है उसने भी बहुत से अभी एजुकेटेड है जो डॉक्टर ग्रे के स्कूल से निकाला है This is Mr. Imran Nadim. He's a local politician from the Shigar Valley who's accused in the book Three Cups of Tea as a scoundrel who put hurdles in the way of Greg Mortensen's efforts to open schools in Baltistan. Agha Mubarak had issued a fatwa banning Mortensen from working in Pakistan. More upsetting to Mortensen was the fact that a powerful local politician he knew named Imran Nadeem pandering to his conservative Shia base had publicly declared his support for Mubarak. Ye fact hone ke bawajood ki mera uske sath acche taluqat nahi rahe hain. Main uski services ko appreciate karta hu jo ki usne is ilaqe mein itne dur ilaqe se aake kiya. Main khud isi ilaqe ke rehne wala hone ke bawajood abhi tak main wo services provide apne logon ko nahi kar saka jo उसने किया मैं उसको अप्रिशिएट करता हूँ सर थ्री कप्स ऑफ टी के बारे में मेरा अपना ख्याल ये है जी कि इसके किताब लिखने का शायद बिहाइंड सिंह पर्पज़ ये था कि वो फंड्स जनरेट करें मैं अपनी बात कर नहीं कहता हूँ जिस तरह उसने कुछ लोगों के बारे में पर्सनल वो किया है ये एक ऑथर की अखलाकियात के खिलाफ Parvi who already made $2000 annually as CAI's director in Pakistan would now receive $4000 a year a formidable salary in Skardu for the man who made all of CAI's projects in Pakistan possible No look at this news this is uh, uh, this news is from Mr Imran Nadeem which means that every fraud is done by mr gm parvi not by greg or not by anything anything else so no he was in 2007 he was deadly against and against the school construction project and he declaredly wrote in his in his letter pad in his official letter pad there if we construct a school in the village there will be law and order situation and he by force stopped through uh, district administration and the police if you see that uh, everything should be done according to the law and ethics and rules and and you see managerial capacities he is a failed person he never want to make this a good organization i requested him to uh, appoint more uh, more teacher more teachers best teachers managers supervisors office person accountant engineers you see this huge building he did not allow me to consult with an engineer so i was the engineer i was the accountant i was the administrator i was the gopher i was everything i was the driver so you see he could not manage and he did not want to manage because i came to know it was his policy that keep illiterate and very layman with his work so that they could not understand his uh, long uh, objectives in the meeting of the uh, uh, of the community leaders school education committees i told them that I am personally deciding because it was my commitment with you when the religious leaders opposed Greg Morrison. I was commit. I was committing with the uh, community that whenever I will see that Greg is working against Pakistan and against our ethics and Islam, I will not work with him. So the day came here and I, I fulfilled my promise with the people. This is my personal uh, decision, and I am not uh, stressing my community and my education committees not to work with Greg Morrison. But the foreign delicacies Changezi savored most had names like Hildegard and Isabella. Despite the fact that the man had a wife and five children stashed at his home in distant Pindi and a second wife tucked away in a rented house near the superintendent of police's office in Skardu, Changezi had spent the tourist season tucking into a smorgasbord of female tourists and trekkers who were arriving in Skardu in ever greater numbers. और इसने मेरे जातियात पर जो, जो मुझ पर जो उसने किताब में जो कुछ लिखा गया है यकीन जाने मैं अभी सोच रहा हूँ मैं इसके खिलाफ अदालत में सू करूँ मैं इसके खिलाफ चारा जुई जरूर करूँगा इन शह This Changezi may wear white robes but I think he is an exceedingly black-souled man Parvi said to Mortensen apologetically जब मैंने ये इरादा किया और मैंने उसे मेल भी किया इसके बाद 
اس نے مجھے پیسوں کی آفر کیا پیسوں کی آفر پیسے اس کے جو سلمان نامی ایک ڈرائیور ہے وہ سلمان جو میرے پاس ایک ٹوٹی کھٹارے ٹیکسی لے کر آیا کرتا تھا آج وہ دو دو پجروں میں پھر رہا ہے اور اس سے اتنا پیسہ دے رہا ہے اور وہ شخص پیسے لے کر آیا کہ بھائی آپ اتنے پیسے ابھی لے رکھ لیں تقریباً تیس لاکھ پیسے روپے لے کر آیا پندرہ لاکھ ابھی اور پندرہ لاکھ میں کل پرسوں تک لاؤں گا آپ مجھے صرف اتنا لے کے دے دیں کہ بھائی گریک مارٹنسن کا جو کتاب میں جو کچھ لکھا ہے اس سے مجھے اعتراض نہیں ہے میں نے اس کے ڈرائیور کو کہا بے خوف انسان تو میرے ضمیر کو خریدنا چاہتا ہے تیس لاکھ میں میں نے کہا کہ اس نے میرے خلاف اتنا کچھ لکھا اور میں کہوں کہ اس نے وہ جو کچھ لکھا ہے صحیح لکھا ہے میرا خبردار آئندہ اس ایریا میں نہیں آنا تو اینی ہاؤ وی آر تھینک فل ٹو گریک مارٹنسن بیکاز ہی ڈٹ ناٹ ہیزیٹیٹ ٹو اسٹارٹ دی اسکول بلڈنگز ان بلتستان اینڈ ویئر ایور وی پریفر ٹو اسٹارٹ دی ورک ہی پرووائڈیڈ آس فنڈس سو وی اسٹارٹ دی اسکول ان ویریز ان ڈفرینٹ پلیسز آف بلتستان so i am very thankful to him for starting and initiating the uh, education projects and other social projects in baltistan he is not bernie madoff i mean let's be clear he has done a lot of good he is helped thousands of school kids in Pakistan and Afghanistan. He has become perhaps the world's most effective spokesperson for girls' education in developing countries, and he deserves credit for that. Nevertheless, he is now threatening to bring it all down, to destroy all of it by, by, by this fraud and by these lies. Despite the international hue and cry about Greg Mortensen lying to sell his book and pilfering the donor's money for his personal benefit, most of the people of Baltistan, the ones he didn't lie about in his book, are still singing his praises and think of him as a hero of girls' education in Baltistan. Baltistan.